What up, YouTube? Remember that show that featured a crew of ragtag blue-collar space cowboys? Nah, the one with the beat-up old space cruiser. Nah, 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 the one with the adorable redhead engineer. No, the one with the snippy AI. Look, it's the show that you never saw. The one that got it all right. Yeah, that one. Star Hunter. So one day, I'm eating cereal at 2 in the morning, flipping channels, and I see this. This show seems to have invented being poor in space. The I'm a broke dad with guns in a spaceship genre starts here, and so do wrench wenches if you want to fight about it. Anyway, Dante Montana, the space loner, and his teenage niece Percy live aboard a beat-up old space liner rented from this lug, who I assume is a nice guy in real life. Dante's a bounty hunter, working to keep the lights on by dragging space perps to space jail at his landlord's request. Keeping the old wreck of a ship they live on from killing them is apparently Percy's job, while Dante loses teeth over fistfuls of space bucks. So good so far. His landlord is like, hey, you have a new roommate now because your dad gave me money. But she's not some rich kid, she's an agent for some biotech firm. Or cult. Or multi-level marketing outfit that have a lot of meetings. And guns. And operatives who can warp reality with their minds? They can also explode. That's just season one. Season two gets weirder. Percy, Dante's niece, is back. She's hotter, wiser, and angry. Travis, Dante's son, is back. He's older, uh, wiser, and pretty slick. Their old landlord lives with them now, along with some street kid and another gun babe. But Dante? He's lost in hyperspace. So that's the focus of season two. Now I'm not gonna lie, Star Hunter is rough around the edges, but pretty fresh even after all these years. It's worth a look on Amazon and hey, maybe Bezos will fork over cash for a new season. And honestly, I'd watch it. Star Hunter was off the wall but has a lot going for it. You can see their fresh angle on sci-fi that other franchises picked up and ran with Star Hunter is just sitting there, waiting to reclaim their window onto weird new worlds. And if they make a third season, at least I'll have something interesting to watch as I eat dinner at 2 a.m. Wow! Man, that was really something, wasn't it?